ITC receivers require a couple steps in order to change the frequency. First, we need to download and install the latest software version, 3.73D, available with the Winter Software Update. Take a look at the frequency before we update it. Underneath the Setup tab, you notice that it's showing 1545.5450. With the default box checked. At this time we can go ahead and install the latest software version by inserting a flash drive with the latest software update downloadable from stellarsupport.com. After a few seconds it should give a pop-up on the screen showing that there's a software update available. Go ahead and hit accept and it'll begin updating. Take your ITC and put it on a machine that's outside or you can plug it in. Give it some power and let it begin acquiring satellites. After a couple seconds, we'll see and hear the receiver lock on to SF1 signal. At this point, we know that it's acquired satellites and updated the frequency. If we go take a look at the setup tab, we'll notice it's changed to the new 1539.8725. To change frequencies on a Starfire 3000, we just need to update the software. To do so, simply insert our USB. Should come up showing that we've got the new 1.52C software version available for the receiver. Hit accept and it'll begin. After the software update is finished, free to hit accept. Put your menu button, receiver, and on the setup tab you'll notice that the correction frequency has changed to the new 1539.8725. Gen 2 receivers require manual reprogramming. In order to manually change the Starfire receiver frequency, go to menu, then to your Starfire receiver and to the Setup tab. You need to change this correction frequency box right here but you notice it's grayed out. Uncheck the default box to the left and then touch your correction frequency where you can type in the new one. In this case it is 1539.8725. Hit accept and go back and watch your Starfire signal. If you've got the right frequency typed in, you should regain Starfire signal within a couple seconds.